What's up, YouTube? Uh, little Cindy uh, gave me the day off. Without pay, of course. She ain't gonna pay me. She'll let me off, but she won't pay me. But anyway, got the day off. Lay this under here. All right. I thought I'd take the day and just uh, get a game plan together on this 55. And so whenever she does give me some time off, uh, I can come over here and work on it. Uh, got a got a buddy of mine, Woody Callaway. He's up in uh, Concord, North Carolina. Uh, right now, he uh, picked me up a set of rear fenders, a set of running boards, running board covers, and a rear window garnish for my uh, 39. <clears throat> and I picked up a set of front fenders. Uh, it's been probably, uh, heck, it's been... Probably two, two or three months ago. Yeah, two or three months ago, I picked those up. Uh, and I should have just about everything I need, you know, for the body of the car. It's all, I got all new floor pans and stuff like that. But uh, I should have just about everything I need for that car, except for maybe a grill. And I'll be on the lookout for that. See if I can find me a decent grill to put in it. But uh, other than that, uh, I should be able to really get a lot done to that thing. Uh, the fenders I had, let me show you, they were kind of rough. Yeah, they were beat up pretty good on these back corners. Uh, a lot of rust down here uh, and all out of shape. Uh, way out of shape i think they're bowed out pretty good right in here i started making some patches for them but the uh, fenders he picked up for me are actually 40 uh, rear fenders they're the same as these the only difference is the uh, tail light and uh i'll just have to have to take this and cut it out and put it in that fender to have the 39 tail lights but uh yeah i'll have just about everything i need for this car i've got all the other garnish uh for the car uh i think i'm missing well i don't know i might have the front garnish uh but anyway uh i'll have the majority of everything i need for the outside and the inside i'll just have to do it whenever I get there. Most of the time, that's the last thing you do anyway, is the inside of the car. All right, well, all right. We'll get back over here to the 55. Uh, that same friend of mine, I was over at his house the other day, and he said, man, he said, I think I've got some window garnish for that 55. I said, well, I made some, but, you know, there's a, there's a difference in what I made and what the uh, original garnish is. You notice on the front of this garnish here, this four-door garnish, you know, uh, one of my videos, I made this garnish to go in here, and which it works good, it fits good. Uh, there's some, some minor differences that I'll have to uh, correct on these if I use these. But this piece here, this piece is open, this post. On the two-door garnish, there's a piece of metal that comes down and comes out and screws right here and covers this up and uh that's the only difference uh well and the difference in this this here i'm gonna have to uh you know pie cut this or trim it and then up here it's a little wide too at the back just just some minor differences but i i got these from him and they're not all that bad there's a little bit of surface rust around on them. Uh, this one here is probably the worst uh, surface rust right there. But I think after I clean it up, it won't be too bad. 
get that paint and that uh, surface rust off, it'll be fine. Uh, and you can see right here, this is the piece I was talking about. It covers that post and it's got a screw right here. And I think I'm going to go ahead and use these because I don't have to, you know, trim them, uh, do any more modifications to them. This one here has got a little, little bit of a bow right there. And I think there might be one here at the back on this one. But it can be straightened out pretty easy. And that one right there is hardly noticeable, either one of them. Really good garnish. And I think what I'm going to do is take those off and my screw holes should line up because I use the front part of the two door and then the back part of the four door. I think the uh, screw hole back here in the back is in the same place. So if, I, if I'm lucky, they'll line up and there's only two screws in the bottom part of it. Yeah. There's only one, two, three in the top part. One, two, three holes. So I should be good on that. And he had one piece of front garnish molding. Uh, didn't have the other one. And you know, it's got a, got a little kink in it right there. And I think there's a little kink right here on this, which ain't bad. And the molding looks good. A little surface rust. But I'll hang on to it too. But the uh, two front ones that I made, <laughs> try five squeak, door squeak. Uh, the ones that I made, uh, there's nothing wrong with them. Uh, I don't have to do any shaping or trimming uh, on the top or the bottom. So uh, I'll just use these two. I have to do a little body work right here. Not much, just a little bit, and they'll be good to go. They'll work good. All right, well, I think, I think what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll set y'all up. I'm gonna take these off and see how my luck is, see if they'll line up all the screw holes, see if I can just bolt them on. Uh, that'll tell if I got it, I guess if I've got it true to what a two-door is all right well, i'm gonna set y'all up and we'll see If I have to right here, I should line up. But anyway, it'll be a matter of just 
drilling a pallet hole and just starting it in there. That one too. Might weld a tab up here for that one, for that one to hook to because there's nothing there. Uh, it's on the four door. Uh, the four door is four door from here back. So that don't have the uh, same tab that this front part has. So I'll just have to weld something in there uh, to screw that to. And this hole, I should be able to line it up. I'll just have to work with it, find it. It's in there. Or I can just drill a new pilot hole and start this screw in. These are self tappers anyway. So, looks like it's gonna work. Yep, that'll look good. That'll be like a like a two door should, rather than not having the having this piece on here and not having it on that side. So anyway, fits real good. Fits real good. Fits, fits the opening good. Yep, that'll work out fine. It'll work out good. Yep, looks good in there. It's got a little bow right here. I need to straighten that out on that one. A little bit of a bow. But other than that, if it's good, yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I appreciate that. That's that's a good deal right there. Uh, all right, I guess uh, I gotta clean out the back of this thing. Let me uh, bring y'all back in just a minute. All right, one thing uh, I need to do. I've got a. I've got a nice shelf. I've got it stored. I've got to go get it out of the container. I might do that this afternoon. Because this stuff here, I need to take it and just put it on that shelf. And then whenever I get ready for it, it'll be in here. Uh, I'll know where it's at. I thought I'd show y'all what I got here in the trunk. Need to clean it out anyway. Got a, got a good friend, Rick Landon. Uh got a uh, auto parts business on eBay. He buys out old auto parts that have been closed down for a while. He'll buy all the content and uh, uh, he'll sell it on eBay. He's got some, got some neat stuff. He, uh, the last auto parts he bought out had stuff all the way back to the 30s. Uh, and of course, he when he runs across stuff from a 55 here, he'll bring it to me or set it aside for me. Uh, got these uh, Moog upper ball joints. Uh, brought me two of those. Found them, brought them to me. I'm gonna set them over here on the table. And uh, I think when I bought the car, the guy that that had it he bought a new actually a new bushing kit for the uh a frames and a new uh i think it's a body new body mount kit uh there's a uh, tie rod ends so i've got all kind of stuff in here you know that i'm gonna need whenever i start putting this thing the frame getting it ready and putting it back together so i got that box of stuff ball joints and tie rod ends and uh this stuff here i got got from my buddy rick uh there's the uh i don't know that's the lower bushings for the uh a arms lower a arm there i think i've got two of them here's the other one and let's see what this other one is here there's two of the body mount bushings right there let's get this up 
There we go. Yeah, I got both of those brand new. And I think this right here might be a set of shocks. Nope, this is a, a uh, drag link or whatever with the adjuster, all brand new. Got the boots on it, tie rod ends, everything. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And uh, if he runs across anything else, he'll he usually sets it aside for me. And I'll get it from him. He had all. Matter of fact, he had the old the old fifty one that I've got outside that I bought. He had a uh, the distributor cap had a coil for it. It's V eight flathead. Had plug wires for it. Uh, I think he had points condenser. Hmm. He's probably got probably got oil filter and stuff for it, but he's got the uh, thermostats for the old flatheads, and uh, I'd never seen one until he showed me the ones down there. They're weird looking deals, what they are. They are weird looking, but they're cool. And he's got them. This is uh, I think this is the inner wheelhouse. Uh, the uh, rubber that goes around the inner wheelhouse that uh, goes to the fender on the underside there. Uh, and this big old box here is a uh, carpet. Brand new carpet. Black, brand new black carpet for a peach five. Yep. Yeah. Set it up here where it won't fall. And I, I ordered these just before we uh, started deciding to move. Let me set y'all down right here. I'll open this up. Just before we started to move, I got these. They've hidden down there in that container. They already got surface rust on them. But new uh, lower front fenders, lower part. That's a that's a real common thing on on a tri five. They usually rust down here where that brace comes down. This one's got a little surface rust on it too. I guess that's where I picked them up and handled handled them. And you got sweat or whatever on them, and they sit in that container and got surface surface rust. But that's all it is. I can clean that up, and they'll be good to go. And I'll have these when I get ready for them. Okay, got that all cleaned out, and uh, we, I'm, I'm really, really close to being done on all the uh, sheet metal work. Y'all remember I did all this down in here, uh, made the new dog leg patch, all that stuff on both sides, patched all the holes in here. Uh, Still need to put this back on. Uh, need to seam seal it. Got everything looking good in here. All the holes patched. I've got a, I've got a, up in here in the fender well, I've got a spot that I need to patch up in there. Uh, and I thought about building me a rotisserie. I've got some uh I've got some more of these frames like this right here. Like I got this 39 on. I thought about taking the big the, the biggest frame that I've got. I've got one that's a lot longer than this. It's it's made the same way, got the same casters on it and everything. I thought about taking it 
and building me a uh, rotisserie on top of that to put this 55 body on. Uh, not that, not that I'm going to be that that picky and all that stuff about the underside and everything, but it just yeah man it makes it a lot easier if you can turn it over on its side and stand right there and uh like up in this fender well up in here on the in the top inner fender well that's gonna be hard to do from up the bottom looking up you know i can do it but it'd be a whole lot easier with rotisserie and then i can scuff the whole bottom you know the whole bottom is new everything's new except for the back half for the trunk I didn't replace that area, but it needs to be cleaned and uh, surface rust gotten off of it. Uh, heck, I can even roll the car on the rotisserie outside and uh, sandblast it or whatever I want to do. Uh, pressure wash it, uh, get all the dirt and grime and stuff out the out from under the bottom, and then clean it. Get a good coat of primer on it and uh go from there but you can see the bottom of these fenders you know the rust i'll replace a, a portion of that whatever it needs uh this fender here needs a needs a new brow on it i'll have to order that or see if i've got a fender that's got a good one on it so i can rob that off of it but other than that i think this fender is okay I tell you, man, until you, I don't know, until you start really, really looking at it, the 55s, you can see down this one, it's got, they have a bow in that fender that kind of bows out. And it's, I think it's got a dent right there. Probably push that out pretty easy, but that's, that's a hard area to work, uh, make it look right. I've noticed a lot of 55 Chevrolets uh, they wouldn't have this bow in it. See, this fender looks a lot better. This bow would be pushed in and it just looks terrible. It's kind of flat. It just don't look right. This is a good fender on this side, uh, except for down here. Got to, got to do some work on that. And I've got the pieces. I'll just cut it off, splice it in, weld it up, and that'll be like new. And that, that'll be a good fender. I tell you, it looks really rough with all this scaly paint and different colors on it. But you can sand that joker down, put a good coat of primer on it, and uh, it'll look really good. It'll look good. And uh, I think I can shape this fender up, uh, check it all over, a few dents in the top. We just have to... Just have to take my time with it with a hammer and dolly and go over it real good and try to push this back out right in here but all right uh i think uh what i'll do is i'll go down and get that shelf out of the container and bring it back up here and i'll go ahead and set it up in here that way i can get this stuff off the table off the floor get it on that shelf and it'll be up and out of the way and it'll be uh a place that i can find it when i need it and then we'll go from there all right i'll bring y'all back in a little while Okay, one shelf up. 
pretty nice shelf. I got a bunch of those in my container in Eastman with a bunch of stuff on them. Uh, if I need to, I'll take some of them out of that container and bring them up here, put them in the shop. They'll hold a lot of stuff. Uh, I had trailer loads of these things and uh, sold uh, almost all of them at auction. Well, at Moultrie and, and Perry. People bought them up. <laughs> but it's a good little uh, shelf and it holds a good bit of weight. It's wide. So I'll be able to put a lot on that. Oh well. Now I guess I'll get this stuff and uh, put it on the shelf. See what it looks like on there. But anyway, uh, if y'all would, hey, leave me a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Uh, somebody mentioned the other day that, I don't know, there might be something to that hitting that like button. Uh, I'm sure they use all those all those tools to uh, gauge your channel. So uh, leave me a comment. Subscribe, on, subscribe to the channel and uh, next time I think what I'm going to do uh, when Cindy gives me another day off is get over there on that 55 take uh, one or both of those front fenders off and go ahead and start putting those lower bottom portions on there and uh, get that little bit of stuff finished up and then I'll I'll show you what what I got from Concord my buddy bought all that stuff for me. He's bringing it back. We'll see what we got there and what we need to do to get on this 39 too. I want to try to work on both of them and get a lot done. All right, till next time. See you later.